Well, hello, Freddy and Yanari. Welcome. How are you? Good evening, teacher. All right. I have, I have uh, made some slides with the different types of adverbs. Okay. I want to. It's a lot. It's algo, not a lot like to do, but give you different different um, types of adverbs, right? Not just the book only gives you a little bit, right? Yeah, Freddy or Yanari, the book only gives you a little bit. It only gives you like two, four, five, six, six adverbs, and that's it, right? And the space is very short. It's just about this much of the page, right? Un cuarto de la página is about this much, right? What I have done is I have amplified the adverbs to give you like adverbs of manner, adverbs of frequency, adverbs of, uh, of different types, right? Different, different types. So you can see how many types of adverbs there are. Hay una variedad de adverbios, right? And it's always good to know how to use them appropriately, right? So I have, I have went um, about myself in bringing you a little bit extra for today, right? So I just expect you to look at that. There are some examples. Les he ponido también ejemplos for the types of adverbs. And... Um, and maybe you can do some of your own. Maybe you have never worked with adverbs or haven't practiced them fully, right? And today, um, we can do that today, right? So today is going to be maybe half of the class, maybe less, more grammar and more vocabulary and more centered, sentence structure with regards to adverbs, all right? with regards to adverbs. So I'm glad you're here today. For those of you that are here, you're going to, I hope you um, you get the, what you call the, the meat of this topic, all right? I know the book is short, but I have made it bigger, all right? I have made it bigger so we can, so you can see, so you can be exposed to different um, adverbs. All right, let me see. Now, Let me share screen. Hello, Alvin, Iris, Erwin, Anari, Blanca, Carla, Jennifer, Alvin. Let me share screen for just a moment. All right, class, we're already in December, right? Right, so we are. Yeah, teacher. Oh, you are. Are you ready? We're almost through, right? We're almost through here. Let me see. Um, this is pretty much the topic. I have a few slides here. It's going to be like five or six, and I have compact one, so that way we don't we don't keep moving, moving, moving. It's like four and one. So, let me see. Yeah, four and one and three and one. So, como siete puntos, right? Seven points. All right. Um, Fredis, can you read the topic, please? The the agenda for today. Yeah. Good evening. Hi. Welcome. Uniform in inventory. Adverse different types. Inventory management system vocabulary. Great okay. inventory. Inventory. I always get confused. Yeah. All right. All right. Inventory. You you have to put the pitch at the beginning. In inventory. Inventory. Okay. 
Wednesday, December 1st, 2021. Teacher Mr. Henry, Intermediate 4, class number 22. All right, thank you, Freddy. All right. Okay, now, let me, before we begin, let me, let me take the attendance. Let me see. I don't want, I don't want to stop. Okay. Abigail. Abigail. Okay, not here. Blanca. Present. All right, thank you. Brenda. Okay, not here. Carlos. Carlos, not here. Doris, Doris, okay, not here. Edwin, present teacher. All right, thank you. Francisco, not here. Freddy's, I'm here, teacher. All right, thank you. Glenda, Glenda, okay, not here. Iris. It is okay. Um, Jackie, Jackie, okay, Not here. Jarvin, all right, thank you. Jennifer, I'm here, teacher. All right, thank you. Juan Jose, I'm here, teacher. All right, thank you. And Carla? Present. All right. Neftali? Neftali? Okay, not here. Rolando? Rolando? Okay, not here. Telma? Present teacher. Good All evening. right, good evening, welcome. Janari? I'm here. Okay, thank you. And Alvin? Present teacher, good evening. All right, good evening, welcome. Okay. Teacher, I'm here. Ah, Doris, all right, <laughs> welcome, Doris. Okay, I will put you present, okay? Okay. No problem, thank you. All right, thank you for joining us. All right. Justo a tiempo, dijo Doris. <laughs> right, welcome, Doris. It's a pleasure you having you here you today, right? So I hope everyone is doing great it's the first of december right and i'm ready i'm ready the month is, is getting closer and closer right so now i did the attendance pretty early right i'm supposed to do it at eight a las ocho tengo que hacer la asistencia, right? but i give you a little bit of minutes so you can try to connect and let's continue why all right so now the The importance here is because remember yesterday, I told you that I was going to amplify the adverbs, right? And I'm going to begin with that, all right? Quiero empezar con los adverbs, because I want to share something with you. No está en el libro, all right? So you don't have to look for it. What it is, is on page, we're still going to do the page, okay? We're still going to do page 35, okay? Siempre la vamos a hacer la 35, so don't say, oh, el teacher se pasó una página, all right? Voy a poner la queja, right? So, let me see, go to page 36, all right? Vamos a hacer la 35, so don't worry, okay? But, why am I going to page 36, all right? The, the, the thing is that the... Welcome, Jackie. The thing is that the adverbs in el libro está la información es poco, all right, or poca, right? The information is very, very limited, all right? And yesterday, ayer les comenté that I was going to amplify it, the adverbs. I'm going to ask a question to the class. Esto es para todos y todas. How many types of adverbs are there? ¿Cuántos tipos de adverbs creen que hay usted? Without looking at the internet. All right. Ahorita. One, two, three, four, five. 
Okay. Six. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. That's close. Yeah, that's about average. Yes, there are different types of. Or seven. <laughs> yes, right there. There's, there's like, and sometimes you can you can see six, sometimes seven, sometimes eight, depending on who who's the one that does the categorizing, right? Depende quién le da la categoría, right? So, but it's more than one, right? More than two, more than three. Here, because of the time, no les pude dar todo completo, todo, right? Can I bring the whole book and, and show it here? But I took the ones that I think are the most common, los más comunes, right? So you will be like overwhelmed with a lot of information. I broke it down, okay? I gave, I selected some, maybe I missed like two, but because of time, I can, I did the main ones, all right? Pero esto lo hice para enriquecer un poco el tema, all right? Because on page, on page 36, if you look at page 36, si usted ve la página 36, there's only six, nomás hay seis allí, six adverbs there, right? And todos terminan con L-Y, but not all adverbs, no todos los adverbios terminan con L-Y. Not all of them, right? Not all of them. So we're going to look at some. And the types, los tipos de adverbios, and examples of how to use them. All right? And this is where we're going to work together. Okay? I'm going to present to you the information. And then you're going to look at it, become familiarized with it. And then... I'm going to call on volunteers to give me your own examples so you can become familiarized with the adverbs, all right, with the adverbs. So let's begin. And I'm going to repeat it, page 36, all right, page 36. And please don't think that we're not going to do page 35. We're still going to do page 35, but we're going to... Lo que pasa es que la 35 empieza con los adverbios, pero no los explica. Ahí los tiene, si usted puede ver, easily, consistently, accurately. So, we're going to learn the adverbs first, and then we are going to do page 35. All right? So, let's look at page 36 at the top, number four. Um, can you read, please? Jennifer, here where it says unit four. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. How to use adverbs to qualify verbs. Look at the examples in the book, then complete the exercise below. All right, yes. very good. Okay, hold on real quick, all right? So what she just read is just small examples, all right? We're just doing this part. No más esta partecita that is in the book, and then we're going to move to my uh, my examples. Continue, please, Jennifer. Okay. Use adverbs to communicate where, when, why, how, how often, how much, or to what degree. They quali qualify the actions and the claims we make. Right. May I start with the sentences, teacher? Yes, please, Jennifer. Organize your inventory efficient. If I, I can pronounce it. Okay, efficiently. 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 Very good. Record information accurately. Check for possible improvement consistently. Revise process slowly. Processes. Processes slowly communicate with your distrib distributor regular, regularly. Okay. Distributor. Distributor. Des distributor re regularly. Change your inventory practices incrementally. Okay. Inventory. Inventory. Inventory practices incrementally. 
I uh, you... incrementally. Uh, let me start again. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay, Jennifer. <laughs> let, let me let me do it one time, and then I will let you continue. Okay. All right. Okay. Change your inventory practices incrementally. Change your inventory practices incrementally. Okay, much better, much better, Jennifer. Mm -hmm. Good job. Okay. All right, you're doing a great job. Continue. Many? Okay, many adverbs are created by the by putting together an adjective and adding the suffix l what efficiently. Okay, efficient. Plus efficient plus l y efficiently. Okay. Accurate plus l y accurately. Consistent plus l y consistently. All right. Now I'm going to ask you a question, Jennifer. Okay. Go can ahead. Tell, can you tell me how you say this? Is the symbol in English? How would you say this in English? Being an the now teacher. Okay. Equals. Equals. Equal. Okay. Es como cuando dice español es igual a, right? Equals. Uh, all right, and I'm going to write it for you or for the class also, right? Para que vean cómo se, se escribe. Equals. Equals. Es igual a. Okay. Como cuando uno hace matemáticas, right? Igual a. Okay. Equals. Igual a. Efficiently. Equals. O el igual de. Right? Equals. Pronounce it, Jennifer. Equals. 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 Very, very good. Excellent. All right. Now, in your in your book on page 36, on part four, this is what we're doing right now. And if you noticed, all the adverbs, todos los examples que están aquí, los adverbs tienen ly. The ly es un suffix. En español es un sufijo. All right. Eh, no un prefijo, un sufijo, right? They come at the end. Vienen al final. They come at the end. And normally, eh, they consist of an adjective plus ly. Normalmente, right? no todas las veces. Normally, it's an adjective plus ly que se cambia en vez de ser una, un adjetivo, se convierte en un adverb. All right? Now, an adverb. Remember, an adverb can modify or qualify a verb or an adjective, right? Remember that. It, adverbs can qualify or modify a verb or an adjective, either or, okay? Just remember that. But... Remember the L-Y is como el ente al final, eficientemente, right? Consistemente, right? Those, those are the same similarities that you have between the, the translation of one adverb to the Spanish version, all right? Now, that's it. That's all the book says, but I'm going to give you extra, right? If you notice, ahí no hay ejemplos, there's nothing there. Right? Yo bien puedo decir, ok, ya terminamos lo que es los adverbios, porque el libro así está. Right? Pero no. I want to give you extra. Let's continue with the different types of adverbs. Aquí le voy a mostrar los diferentes tipos de adverbios y cómo utilizarlos and how to use them. And then I'm going to call on you so you can give me some examples. All right? Let me see. Um, Thelma, can you read, please, okay. the next one right here? In about adverbs of frequency? Okay. Okay, fine. Adverbs of frequency. We use others of frequency always, sometimes, often, frequently, usually, occasionally. Okay. Seldom. Normally, generally. Yeah. 
Can you pronounce those, please? Las que siguen después de frequently. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Normally, generally, usually, occasion, occasionally, occasionally, very good, seldom, rarely, hardly, hardly, ever, hardly ever, hardly, ah, excuse me, yes, hardly ever, never, seldom. To say how often we do things or how often things happen. Yes, very good. So these are adverbs of frequency, adverbios de frecuencia, all right? These are adverbs of frequency. Now, if you look at here, right? If you know here, they say how often, right? This is what we're talking about. El libro le menciona algo, but here are some examples of adverbs of frequency. And if you can see, no llevan la L-Y, no todos llevan L-Y, right? Always doesn't have L-Y at the end, but it's an adverb, all right? Can you read the examples, please? Continue, Telma, you're doing great. Okay, can you turn on your microphone, please? Excuse me. Ah, no problem. Okay. <laughs> it happens okay. to me sometimes also, right? Okay. Okay. Other examples. He always wear, wears a shirt and tie. Okay. She normally eats three meals a day. I usually buy all my vegetables at the market. Very good. So if you notice here, the adverbs of frequency, they normally, como pueden ver, siempre vienen antes del verbo, right? The adverbs of frequency. Y aquí están los ejemplos, okay? You hear the examples, and these come before the verb, okay? No está aquí escrito, pero I'm letting you know, okay? Now, you can use some of these antes también del sujeto. Usually I buy all my vegetables or I usually buy, but they come before, okay? They come before the main verb. Remember that, all right? You're probably gonna say, bueno, ¿cuál es la regla entonces de todo? Es que cada, cada, cada tipo tiene sus, sus propias reglas, all right? Each type has its own rules. So let's look at this. Can someone give me an example using adverbs of frequency? Can someone share with me an example using an adverb of frequency? In your own words, en sus propias palabras, okay? Anyone? Me teacher. All right, Sorry. yeah. Go ahead, Yanari. I'm usually dry and dry two hours a day okay wow All right <laughs> two hours a day let me see yeah that's about what i drive sometimes too. from monday to friday <laughs> all right is that one way or both one way or one okay. way one way wow yeah all right, that's a lot. Yeah, that's a it's lot. It's the traffic. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, I understand that, right? Okay, very <laughs> good. <laughs> Thank you, Yanari. Anybody else? Alguien más? Anybody else? Okay, let's continue then. Um, who wants to read manner adverbs of manner? <laughs> Hello. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, Blanca. Okay. Adverse of manner. Adverse of manner, such as cheerfully, efficiently, painfully, secretly, quietly, peacefully, carefully, slowly, badly, closely, easily, well, fast, quickly, etc. Yes. Tell us how something happened or is done. 
they are usually placed either after the main verb or after the object. Okay, you see this rule here? The adverbs of manner, aquí la regla cambia, the rule changes, place after the verb or after the object, después del objeto, all right? Whatever, whatever comes first. So if it's the verb, you can put it after the main verb or after the object, but it doesn't come before. Okay, como los adverbs of frequency, these come after. Now, can you say this word right here, um, Blanca? Peacefully. Yeah, much better. Peacefully, right? Peacefully, like peace and pass. Yeah, I, re okay. I read it. I read it wrong. I, re <laughs> I read it. I read it. I read it wrong, yeah. No problem. Good correction, Blanca. Can you continue, please? Okay, adverse examples. The chin... Mm -hmm. The children were playing happily with their toys. The police dealt, dealt, dealt. with the mm -hmm. incident very dealt with the incident very efficiently. Very good. Birds sang cheerfully in the trees. Okay, trees, trees, trees. Very good. Very good. Excellent. All right, look at all these adverbs of manner. Adverbs of manner. Adverbios de manera, right? Adverbs of manner. Can someone give me an example using an adverb of manner in your own words? Me, teacher. All right, Alvin. Welcome. I was, I was singing secretly in my room. Ah, I was singing secretly in my room all right nice excellent example very good very good anyone else would like to give it a try anyone else would like to give an adverb of manner look at all the adverbs there anyone would like to give me an example me teacher go ahead Thelma, please i work very fast very Every every day I work fastly every day. Okay, all right, very good, very good. All right, Francisco. Yes, teacher. Okay. I would like to try. Yeah, go ahead, Francisco. I did this okay. for y'all para la práctica de ustedes. Go ahead, Francisco. Yes, thank you. Okay, I I like to select carefully the vegetable. Okay, very good. Very good. Carefully, right? Yeah. Yes. Especially the fruit sometimes, right? When yes. you select it, like you're like looking at it, right? And some people, when you grab the fruit or vegetable, they're like, uh, ¿Cuánto va a llevar? Right? They, they ask you real quick, right? <laughs> yes. They don't want you to take No, no, wait, wait. I select. <laughs> yeah, I select the product, right? Good example, yes. Francisco. Excellent. Thank, thank you, Dishon. All right. Anyone else? Alguien más que quiera participar? Anyone else? If not, we will continue. Anyone else? All right. Let's continue with the next adverbs. Let me erase this. All right, let's continue with the other different types of adverbs, All right? Here are four more, <laughs> four more different types of adverbs. All right, um, who wants to read the first one? Adverbs of time. Who would like to read the first one? Adverbs of time. I'm going to read. Okay, Juan Jose. Great. Excellent. Okay. Time, uh, adverb of time. Time, adverb. Now, yesterday, soon, later, tomorrow, yet, already, tonight, today, then, last month, here. Tell us about when something happened. Very good. Very good. And here where it says last, 
last month, estas van unidas, right? Oh, yes, yes, yeah. last month or last year. Exactly, right? So when you use them in examples, class, when you use them in, in example, remember, last month, last year, you can also include last week, right? Last week, la semana pasada, last week. Please continue, Juan Jose. Other example. I'm going to hang out with my friend tomorrow. I'll call you from home later. She's already gone when we got there. Okay, very good. Excellent. Good job. Thank you, Juan Jose, for your participation. Now, adverse of time. These are easy. Son los que prácticamente utilizamos más, right? Adverse of time, we use them a lot. But can someone give me an example using one of these just for practice purposes? Anyone would like to give me an example using adverbs of time? Teacher. Go ahead. I'm going to watch the concert of BTS tonight. Ah, tonight, tonight. Okay. Thank you, Blanca. Thank you. Now, and anyone else? Adverbs of time? Using, using last year, utilizando last year. Alvin, it says you put that little face. <laughs> I didn't celebrate my birthday last year. Ah, oh, come on. You didn't celebrate your birthday. Is that true or you're just giving a sentence? No, it's true because of the pandemic. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Let me see. Last year, did I celebrate my birthday? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yeah, I did. Right. But it was, it was. It, it was wasn't, weird. Yeah, it was weird because I had to be all covered up and everything. Yeah. So I really didn't enjoy it. But I still celebrate, but it was it was a long drive and and it didn't go that well. But it was good. It was good. But all right, Alvin. Okay. Very good. Good uh, participation. Anyone else that would like to give an example using adverbs of time? What about last month? Last month. Utilizando last month. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me know when you're ready. Uh, the class. Okay. English last month. No. Can you repeat it, please, Francisco? Uh, I'm not sure if correct, but um, maybe we start the class last month. Okay, we started. We started. Uh, yes, in the past, ah, okay. right? Very okay. good. We started the class last month. Excellent. Okay. Excellent, Francisco. Good job. I went to Antigua, Guatemala last month. Is that true, Jackie? Lo que mandó ahorita en el texto, is that true? Jackie? Yes, she said. <laughs> All right. Antiguo Guatemala. All right, so Jackie said in the chat, in the chat, Jackie put, I went to Antigua Guatemala last month, right? Has anyone ever been to Antigua, Guate Antigua Guatemala? Me, but about four years years ago ah uh, four years ago all right how is it is it nice yeah it's a nice place all right very old how do you say like cultural and old okay old-fashioned old-fashioned yeah all right old-fashioned all right well thank you okay jackie great example let's continue um adverbs of place of place. Now, look at all these adverbs of place. Of, above, okay, but I need one of you to read it for us. Can you read it for the class, somebody? Adverbs of, 
All right, go ahead. Adverbs of place. Adverbs of place of, above, aboard, far, on, away, back, here, out, outside, background. Mm, backwards. Back, backward, sorry, backward. Behind, in, behind, in, below, down, indoors, downstairs, inside, nearby, 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 near, over, there, towards, under, up, upstairs, where, everywhere, elsewhere, anywhere, nowhere, somewhere. Tell, right. us about, <laughs> right, continue. tell us about where something happens or where something is. They are placed after the main verbs of after the clause that they modify. Very good. So these come after the verb also, all right? Now, can you continue, please? You're doing great, Yanari. Can you continue? Okay. Examples of adverbs. His children go everywhere with him. She started work here last May. Let's open the box and see what's inside it. Okay. Now, inside, these are all adverbs of place when we're talking about indoors. ¿Qué significa indoors? This one right here is very common in the in English, indoors. What is indoors? Hmm. Detrás de las puertas or, or something like that. <laughs> Adentro del hogar. All right. Indoors is, yes, it's inside. And when you're talking about, it could be not necessarily inside your house, okay? Not necessarily because if we're todo lo que toda acción que uno haga dentro de un de un edificio de su casa or at your work for example um the stadium el estadio está tapado o está al aire libre al aire libre ah very good so but if you were to go to uh, maybe a, a stadium outside of El Salvador, maybe the United States or, or Germany or Europe, right? They have a dome. ¿Saben que es un dome? Yes. yes. All right. That covers the stadium. Lo tapa. All right. So when they when they say we play indoors, we play indoors and this is very common we play indoors significa en un en algo que está cerrado yes all right it's closed so if you can be at a restaurant a restaurante que están al aire libre pero si llueve se moja uno right but there are some that have a roof that is indoors indoors right indoors you're eating at a restaurant indoors indoors that means it has a protection on top All right freddy did you have a question yeah they could say we play indoors too when um let's say it, um when they play against any other country that um they're actually they don't go out of the country they're playing indoors in their country mm. Not necessarily in their country, Freddy's. No. Not in that aspect. Indoors means in a closed, closed environment. Okay. That is a little more open when you say the country. All right. We can we can we can't we can't use that indoors in that uh in that perspective. All right. It's indoors means you know, remember the stadiums or the summits? In the United States, Freddy's? Yeah. They have, yeah, they're closed, that's indoors. If you go play basketball outside on the on the basketball courts in the schools, that's outdoors. Yes, outdoors. Al aire libre. All right. 
But thank you for your participation. Enjoy your food, Freddy's. All right. <laughs> Let me see. All right, let's continue with the adverbs of degree. Adverbs of degree. Estos son adverbios de grado, de degree, right? Degrees. This is where we use a lot of the L-Y. Ustedes pueden ver, 99% are L-Y. Termina con el suffix L-Y. Can someone read for us the adverbs of degree for the class? The evaluate, evaluate. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Degree yeah. adverse. Quiet, fairly, to enormously, entirely, very, extremely, rather, almost, absolutely, use, barely, completely, enough, deeply, enormously, fully, greatly, hardly. Incredible, practically, barely, somewhat, terrible, virtually. Okay. All right. Express degrees of qualities, properties, states, conditions, and relations. Examples. He was quite agreeable to accepting the plan. I'm not absolutely certain I posted. The building was completely destroyed. destroyed. Okay. Now, thank you. Now, I'm just going to ask you to repeat some of these. This is quite. 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 Yes, quite. And then, um, barely. 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 Very good. And I believe you said... This one, terribly, terribly. Terribly. All right, terribly, terribly. Terribly. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Now, adverbs of degree. Can someone give me an example using the adverbs of degree in your own words? For example, teacher. Mm hmm. We, we are taking our class virtually. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Good job. Anyone else that would like to give an example with adverse of degree? All right. Let's continue. Adverse... All right. Thank you, Alvin. Um, I am deeply grateful with my family. Mmm, nice, right? Very good. I am deeply great, great. All right, very good. Very good. Good example. Good example. Yes. All right. Awesome. Can you, can you read, Alvin, please, the adverbs of certainty? Okay, teacher. Adverbs of, of certainty. Types of adverbs. We can use the evaluative adverbs to state how certain we are about something, such as apparently, clearly, definitely, doubtfully, doubtlessly. I see, doubtlessly? Yeah. No, doubtlessly. Doubtlessly. Very good. Okay. Obviously, presumably, probably, undoubtedly, etc. Okay. Adverse examples. David is clearly I'm happy to be here. Apparently, we're going to have to work harder. And obviously, we don't want to spend too much money. All right. Very good. Very good. Excellent. So, what is obviously and apparently? Can you see that? What, what, how will you translate those to Spanish? Can someone translate those two words? Apparently and obviously. Aparente, aparentemente y obviamente. Very good. Excellent. All right. Now, these are the adverbs of certainty. And I hope you're probably taking notice or taking notes 
right? Because at the end, I'm going to ask for a small activity, right? So I hope you were paying attention or taking notes about all the types of adverbs that we have here. So that way you can become familiarized and knowledgeable that it's not just a few adverbs. There are different types or categories of adverbs and how to use them accordingly. Now let's go to the to the last one. Let me put it here. Okay, this is going to be the last one that I have for you of the adverbs. And it, once again, it's another type of adverb. Um, who would like to read this one? Types of adverbs, these are adverbs of attitude, adverbos de attitude, right? Of attitude, who would like to read those? Me, teacher, I will try. Okay, Jackie, glad to have you here participating, welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Adverbs of attitude. Types of adverbs. We can use the evaluative adverbs to make our attitude about something clear, such as frankly, fortunately, honestly, hopefully, interestingly. 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 All right. Uh, luckily, sadly, seriously, surprisingly, unbelievably, etc. Examples. Hopefully, he will reach the top. Honestly, I couldn't eat another bite. Frankly, I think the internet is overrated. All right, good job. Can you read this one again, please? Um, um hopefully. This, no, this one, I'm sorry. Uh, honestly. Okay, honestly, honestly. Honestly, Very honestly. Good. Excellent. Thank Very you. good. Honest. Perfect. All right. Now, look at all these. We use these a lot also, the adverse of attitude. And to finalize, I would like to have three participants give me an example. This is the last type of adverb that I have for you. So I, I would like three participants to give me an example of types of, uh, I mean, uh, adverbs of attitude. Just three, I, I need three volunteers. Hey, teacher. All right, Thelma. Well, honestly, I would like to visit Italy next <laughs> year. <laughs> okay, very good, very good. Excellent, all right, excellent, good job. All right, two more, two more. Me, teacher. Okay. Seriously, I need more money to travel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. To travel. That's true, right? That's true. All right. Very good. Thank you, Blanca. One more. Me, teacher. I will try. All right, Yanari. Excellent. Hopefully. Hopefully. I think. Yes. Hopefully. 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 Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Hi, 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 hi. Hopefully, uh, the um, I hopefully I receive the bonus Christmas this week. Oh, is that, is, are you, you hopefully right? <laughs> Early, huh? <laughs> Early. That's great. I hope you get it. I hope it's double, right? <laughs> All right. Thank you, Yanari. And, thank you. Uh, and those that participated, thank you. Let me see. All right. Let me. 
let me pause for a second so we can do this part right here and let me see no we're going to do that one last we're going to page 35 all right go to page 35 all right nos vamos a regresar a la página anterior page 35 and now we are able to do this uh, this page but before we do this page i'm going to take the um I'm going to take the second attendance, all right? I'm going to take the second attendance. Let me see. Do, 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 do. All right. Abigail. Abigail. Okay. Blanca. Blanca. Present. Okay. Thank you. Brenda. Brenda. Okay. Carlos. Carlos. Doris. Present. Okay, thank you. Edwin. Present. Okay, thank you. Francisco. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Fredis. Present teacher. All right. Thank you. Glenda. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Iris. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Jackie. Present. Thank you. Jarvin. Present. Okay, thank you. Jennifer. Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Juan Jose. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Carla. Present. All right, thank you. Neftali. Neftali. All right. Rolando. Okay. Thelma. Present teacher. Thank you. Janari. I'm here. All right. Thank you. Alvin. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. Now the All right, the administration, I've been in contact with the administration, right? And um, you're going to receive, ustedes van a recibir, right? I'm going to say it in Spanish, so it can be, por si auditan el video, right? Now, um, on, ¿cómo fue que lo, no les quiero decir mala información, no me sirve, me ver los meses. They sent me. All right, yes. All right. On Friday, el viernes, les van a enviar un correo del área administrativa. Okay? And, and it's going to be on your email. And they might send it on WhatsApp also. Ambos. All right? But WhatsApp and your email. And ahí van a estar en ese correo para aquellos que primera vez que están en estas clases también ya la que lo hicieron también eh, ya saben a lo que me refiero right es una encuesta de satisfacción que la vamos a desarrollar juntos aquí en clase eh, en conjunto con la área administrativa right so va a estar alguien aquí presente durante todo lo, lo el proceso 
todas las indicaciones que yo les voy a dar, ellos van a estar aquí presentes. And we're going to do it together. Una vez más, lo vamos a hacer juntos esa encuesta. All right? Esa encuesta la vamos a hacer juntos. Eh, esa se le va, le va a llegar este viernes. All right? Este viernes. Remember, right? If you have received others in the past, si ha recibido otras en el pasado, esas fueron de parte de administrativas o, com, o, como, o como sean, right? Si eran entre ustedes, right? But esta es, this one is different. This one, esta la vamos a hacer en clase, por eso es diferente. Y le va a caer toda la información en el correo y por WhatsApp. Porque esa es la información que vamos a copiar a la encuesta. And, eh, eh, procuren estar aquí a la hora porque en el momento que entra administración yo tengo que parar todo lo que estamos haciendo y iríamos a hacer la encuesta así que tienen que estar presente en clase el lunes la vamos a hacer y también eh, lo que más le tengo que decir uh, no, no están autorizados para de desarrollar la encuesta solos, o sea, no la pueden hacer cuando en su tiempo o cuando les cae el mensaje la empiezan a realizar, porque se tiene que hacer después de la clase el lunes, que el lunes es el último día de, eh, de clase, right? primero Dios, right? Eh, si no hay corte de luz or something, so it'll be on Monday and then we will do it together in class with administration present in class also. That way, por si tienen alguna duda o pregunta, la pueden hacer aquí con área administrativa también. All right. Now, that, uh, esa encuesta la vamos a hacer el lunes. Right. So remember, try to be here on time. Traten de estar aquí a tiempo porque desde el momento que entra mi estación, ahí iniciamos. Y ese sería el último día y ya no me voy a reconectar el siguiente día. So, este es el último requisito que se tiene que establecer para INSAFOR. Es obligación. Es an obligation to do it. All right? So, no es que, oh, yo no quiero hacer la encuesta. You have to do it, right? Es an obligation, no por mí, sino que es uh, establecido por INSAFOR, los requisitos de ellos. And, um, me han dicho que el viernes les va a llegar esa información. So, I hope you get it. Eh, les pido, por favor, que el viernes nomás reciban esa información, me lo hagan saber o lo hagan saber en el grupo también, porque ahí está la área administrativa. All right? So when you get it, ahí le va a decir el nombre de, de la clase, el módulo, eh, toda la información suya, eh, su empresa, right? Y cualquier cosa sobre la empresa, recuerden que aquí también tengo yo eh, la información disponible, por si acaso necesitan ayuda al respecto. Eh, tengo aquí, por ejemplo, los correos institucionales and all that, right? Eh, eh, el lugar que elabora y, y el nombre de la empresa. Eh, por cualquier cosa, eh, cualquier duda, aquí tengo ese respaldo también. All right? So, any questions? ¿Alguna pregunta o duda antes que empecemos la siguiente página? Any doubts? Now, remember, this is going to be copy-paste. Copy, paste, copy, paste, y nomás porque poner una información propia y al final. All right. Okay, class. Any questions? No questions? Remember, do not do, no hagan la encuesta cuando le llegue la información, porque nomás se puede hacer una vez. All right. Only one time. And if there's some mistake y es rechazada, and then eh, ahí, ahí sería ya eh, difícil. So, let's continue. All right, I just wanted to share that with you porque me lo mandaron eh, notificarme del área administrativa para que les, les dé el comentario. All right, class, let's, um, let's go to the page and we are going to do page 35. Page 35. All right. Page 35, can you read, please, um, 
Doris. You designed a basic plan to organize an inventory management system. Okay, continue. How do I calculate the right amount of inventory to stock? How do I determine the right price for my inventory? Okay, now here's, here's two questions, right? That Doris just asked. How mm -hmm. do I calculate the right amount of inventory to stock? Hmm, and the other is, how do I determine the right price for my inventory? How, how do you think, how do you think that is done? ¿Cómo cree usted que se realiza eso? Right? How do I calculate? ¿Cómo calculo el monto necesario de inventory? How do I calculate that? And how do I determine the right price? Hmm. Anyone have a suggestion or input? There are a, a statistic for products moving more or, or moving slowly or fast. Okay. okay. Getting the information of the products. All right. That, that's good. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? This is a critical thinking question, right? This is an analytical question. So you have to think about this. Remember, we're talking about inventory. We're talking about management. So all that comes to play, right? All that comes to play. Okay, I, I suggest um, chief of calculate. Shift. Excuse me, Tenma? I suggest use to use uh, shifts of calculate. Okay, shifts. Shifts. You... Okay, shifts to calculate. Yeah. Okay. Can you give us an example? Yes. For example, Excel. All right. You're talking about sheets. 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 Yes. Excuse me. Sheets. All right. Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. Like this. Like this, Delma. Yes. All right. Sheets. Yes. Sheets. All right. Okay. Very good. That's why I asked for the example. When you said Excel, I said, okay, está hablando de hojas, hojas de cálculo, right? So, yes, excellent example, Delma. That's that's correct, right? You can use technology. What else? Francisco? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, maybe make a physical inventory for update the inventories in the system. Okay. All right. Because Thank sometimes the is mm, too much unit for how mm, for contar una una. No okay. Sé to count one by one. Uh -huh. to come one by one. Okay. However, in, in this case, it's, it's good idea maybe have um, to to put a, a label for a barcode with a barcode. Ah, barcode. For, mm -hmm. for how to have identify each product. Very good. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Anyone else? Anyone yeah, else? An opinion? Okay. I think uh, the first part, uh, we can start uh, inventory, basic inventory, because we can have a control of the product is we introduce in our business and the product we sell to the people. Uh, we have a support in Excel or another program that we consider that is it is important to inventory. And the second part, I think we determine the right price when we do an investigation in different store and the same product. 
we study the product, the quality, and we determine the right price. I think mm. only that. <laughs> very, very interesting, Carla. Nice. Nice. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Excellent ideas. Very good. Excellent analysis. Good job. Yes. So this is just questions that maybe one day you you have to answer you or someone else that you work for or or someone works for you. Right. And determine the best ways to manage your inventory, whether it's in a warehouse or whether it's at your house or in your office in your office keep a uh, control of everything that that you sell and everything that you buy and just like carla said right investigate the quality of the product the quality in the in the market the, for the pricing right very good very good okay let's continue um who wants to read where say susan Me, teacher, can I read? Going to be. Yes. Oh, another. Go ahead. Uh, the second part. Yes, part two. Okay. Susan and George are talking about the basic on how to keep an organized inventory. No, inventory. <laughs> Sorry. <All right. laughs> Susan, read the conversation and take turns practicing it. Okay, very good. I want you to pronounce this word right here. Basics? Very good. This one? Organized. Mm -hmm. Organized. Organized. Sorry. Very good. All right. Excellent. Now, we're going to look at, she said George, right? Yeah, that, that would be the English name for Jorge, right? George and Susan, right? George of the jungle, right? <laughs> now, who wants to be George and who wants to be Susan? I want to be Susan. All right. Who wants to be George? Me, teacher. All right. Go ahead. You and uh, Blanca. Go ahead. Okay. I'm having a bad time with my business. Susan, I need some advice about inventory management. Okay. I see you keep notes on any scrap of paper. George, the first step to implement an organized inventory management system, it's getting all of your product and vendor mm -hmm. and vendor information in one place. I recommend you to this in a, a spreadsheet. A spread, spread. Spread. A spreadsheet. <laughs> and record notes there consistently. All right. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really give much attention to my notes. Now you know. And look here, the labels are falling off the package by leveling inventory properly. You ensure that your products get stored accurately, accurately in the right spot so in the right spot so that your employees can find them easily when needed. When can find them easily when they when needed. Very good, Blanca. Now, can you pronounce <laughs> this word right here? Accurately. Okay, accurately, right? Accurately. Very good. And let me see what was the other one. This one. Leveling. Oh, I <laughs> that, right? Labeling. Uh, label Leveling. No, labeling. 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 Okay. Very good. Very good. The other word is correct, Blanca. Leveling, but eso es nivelar, right? Eso es nivelar. Aquí es label, es ponerle los papelitos in the inventory, right? So that is a little bit different. But good pronunciation, Blanca, excellent. So we have here 
George and Susan are talking about the basics to keep an organized inventory system. After reading this, we have some questions. Can you read it, please? Um, let's see. Go ahead, Blanca. Can you continue? Okay. Discuss the answers to the question below. What are some of George's bad practice in inventory management? What are Susan's recommendations to solve some of the issues? What is another suggestion you could get George to get his inventory organized? Okay. Now, those were the those are three questions that you have on page 35. And what I would like for you to do is do it and then send it to me. All right. Send it to me when you finish. But number three, number three, you have to give your opinion, all right? Not what the story says, all right? La número tres no va a poner lo que dice la, la historia. You have to give your, so another suggestion. What, what suggestion could you give George to get his inventory organized? What, this would be your opinion, your own answer.
When you finish, you can send it to me on WhatsApp so I can see your your answers. Okay, thank you, Freddy's. Can you check number one, Freddy's? The question says, uh, what are some, right? Some of George's bad practices. What are, what are some of the bad practices that he does in inventory management? All right, Alvin, thank you. To hire train staff. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Hey, this is uh, this is your ideas for number three, right? This is your own your own analysis, right? Software system. Bad time. All right, I'm looking at some of these answers. Let me see. Okay, Doris. All right, I'm accepting some of these. Falling off packages, right? <laughs> it takes no. You got the All right, very good. Very good, Blanca. Yeah. All right. So let me see. Blanca. Freddy's. Alvin. Telma. Doris. All 
All right, I have five five students that send me the answers, right? All right, anyone else needs a little bit more time? Me, me teacher, teacher, please. Okay, I'll give you about a minute, a minute or two. Okay, thank you, Blanca, Freddy, Alvin, Telma, and Doris. Thank you for sending your, your activity. And yeah, those are all, here the answers may vary, right? So I really like some of your comments, some of the ideas that you put in number three, right? It's, it's open for discussion, right? But and some of these can go, can have different answers, maybe even for, for number one, you can have one or two different answers. All right, let me see, Carla. Okay, let me put your name. Carla. All right. Keep nose check his brother. All right. You gave me like five, four, three. Three for number three. Great. Check his brother. Take a dedicated complete movement. Ah, all right. Very good. The movement of the product. Excellent. Let me see. Okay, it is. All right, let me add your name, Iris. All right, very good, Iris. So identify the product with stickers, all right? Yeah, excellent. Okay, okay let me see. Okay, Juan Jose, let me put your name here. Uh, have a bad time with the business. Okay, Juan Jose is his, his business, his, okay? Okay, teacher, thank you. All right, no problem. Let me see, she recommends, she recommended him to do his spreadsheet. All right, I mean, all right, good. Good answer for number three, Juan Jose. Excellent, excellent. Good job. Let me see, Jackie. All right. Hire a manager. <laughs> oh, Jackie, right? Hire a manager, she says, right? Okay, class. Now, um, what are some of uh, Jorge, uh, George's bad practices? Can someone just give me one example of one of the pra bad practices? Number one, someone just give me the answer verbally. George takes notes on any scrap of paper. All right, on any, right? On any scrap, scrap paper, right? Scrap paper. All right, very good, very good, Alvin. What about for number two? What are, what are Susan's recommendations? What does Susan recommend? Getting all the information of the vendors and of the products on a spreadsheet are recorded not consistently. Ah, very good. Perfect. Yes, well said. Excellent. All right, for number three, I, I read some of the answers that you gave me, right? And they're excellent, excellent ideas. I want to hear at least three. I want three volunteers to give me one one answer for number three. What do you what do you suggest? I want three volunteers. And he has must no he must has a software system. Okay, he must have must have. Doris. Mm -hmm. He must have have. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Uh, software system, right? Very good. So we have to use some form of technology here, right? Very good, Doris. Excellent. Anyone else? That's one. I need two more. Two more. Let me know when you're ready. 
Me, teacher. All right. Classify all the inventory and put the similar stuff in one place. Ah. And labeling every box or every recipient. Recipient, right? Recipient, okay. Very good. Excellent, right? Labeling, excellent, very good. The last one, I need one more. Me? Okay, Carla. Have a control of the movement of the product. It will be twice a week. Very good, very good. Yes, twice a week, right? That's awesome. Very good. Thank you for your participation. Excellent. All right, now let's move on to page 50. I'm sorry, not 50, 36, 36. page 36. Number five, right? Number five. Let me see. Do, 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 do. Let me turn off a microphone. I hear like a dog. Let me turn off. All right. Thank you for turning off the microphone. Let me see. Okay, class. Here. We're going to look at some of these. These are labels, right? Label the descriptions. Um, Carla, can you read, please? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, label the description with the names of the steps to organize size and inventory. Sorry, <laughs> inventory uh, management system. Okay, organize. Organize. <laughs> Very good. All right. But good good effort, Carla. Uh, I admire your, your you challenge yourself, right? Very good. Now, continue. You're doing great, Carla. I'm not going to stop you. Continue. Okay. Organize product oh, and organize. vendor information. Organize. Organize. <laughs> organize product and vendor information. Create and submit accurate purchase orders. Receive inventory with speed and accuracy. 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 Tag and label inventory. Record your sales. Okay, record your sales. Sales. Sales, right? Las ventas, right? Record your sales. So we have here, you're going to label the descriptions with the names of the steps, right? Here are the, here are the, here are the steps to organize an inventory management system, right? Estos son los pasos para organizar una, un manejo de, de inventario, all right? So we have some of the things here that are key elements that go here. It's a little bit of vocabulary, but it's not, all right? This is concept. This is concept. And let me see for, for number one. Can you read please here? You want, um, who wants to read here? You want to? I will right. try, teacher. Okay, okay Jackie, oh. go ahead. Okay, you want to record what product was sold, what the product's listed price is, uh, discount, and what price, and what price, sorry, what price was actually paid for the product. Okay. So what would this be? You want to record what product was sold, what the product's listed price is, discounts, and what price was actually paid for the product. What would be number one? Record sales. Record your sales. Okay, very good. Record your sales, right? So we're going to put here. That would 
will be number one, right? Record your sales, right? So number one will be here, record your sales. And I want you to continue and try to do this on your own and see if you can figure it out. And we're going to do it together in class, right? We're going to do it together in class also. Unless you have the answer, you can tell me if you want to. You can participate and give me the answer if you already have it. You do not have to send it to me. Esta no necesario que me la manden. You do not have to send it to me. The last one, yes. Let me see. Okay, Jennifer, thank you for sending the other activity. Okay. Okay, someone has the microphone on. I can hear some dogs. Let me turn it off. All right. Okay. Let me know when you're finished so we can do this together in, as a group. I finished. Okay, Doris. Me too. All right. All right, you finished also? Yeah. All right, great, great. Give about a few more seconds. All right, on number two, <clears throat> which one will go on number, on number two? What do you think will be number two? The... Organize. Organize. Organize product and vendor information. Okay, very good. That would be number two. All right. What will be number three? Tag and label inventory. Tag and label inventory. Inventory. All right. What about number four? Receive inventory with speed and accuracy. And accuracy. 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 All right. And the last one will be this one, right? Create and submit accurate purchase orders. Now this is this is labeling the your description. This is like a like a plan, a management inventory management plan. So number one, record your sales. Number two, organize the product and vendor information, tag and label inventory receive inventory with speed and accuracy and then create and submit accurate purchase orders this will be a plan that you would see in anywhere that deals with inventory in a warehouse or anyone that is in management to this inventory purposes but look at this
Alvin, can you read your turn? A uh, number six. Number six. In pairs, use the steps bow as a guide and design a basic plan to organize an effective inventory management system. Okay, so we have, this is a management system, right? This is a guide, this is the plan, the descriptions. Now, I'm going to ask you, based on everything that we have seen from Monday, I mean, from yesterday and today, everything that we've talked about inventory management, all the vocabulary that we have seen, the pages before, use this as a guide. Usen esto como guía, right? How will you create, I want you to design a basic, eh, esa es la actividad que pide, a basic plan to organize an effective inventory management. How will you create one? If I ask you, okay, I'm going to hire you as the manager or the, the person in charge of doing the inventory. Si ahorita les digo, okay, lo voy a contratar para que sean los gerentes de, de, de manejar el inventario. Usted va a ser el manager. You're going to do the management of this inventory of the warehouse or the product or whatever you have in the storage. What would you do first? What would you do second? And what would you do third? Aquí hay cinco. There are five here, right? But I'm only going to ask for three. For three. I want you to give me three solid, three solid steps. Some pasos, all right? I don't want you to be like writing a lot, maybe one or two sentences. Una o dos oraciones por cada una. And you, as a manager, you in charge of the inventory, what plan, que plan administraría usted to do an effective inventory management system? I want you to send it to me uh, with your name. All right, I want you to put your name at the bottom. I'm going to take it as activity number two in class activity. And now you're going to apply everything that you have learned, everything that you have read, everything that you have listened, and everything that you have applied based on your participation. So you, you will write something like this. This is my Where's no sé, no la ah, ahí está. inventory. This is my inventory management plan. And then you're going to put one, two, three. What would be the first thing that you will put here? ¿Cuál sería lo primero que pondría ahí for number one? If you were the manager, if you were in charge, and you tell your employees, okay, we're having a meeting right now, and you give everybody your, your plan, and you tell them, this is how we're going to work here. These are the functions that you need to do. This is your plan. This is the guideline to organize an, an effective management system of inventory. You can use this as your guide. 
como guía aquí. But I don't want you to put exactly como está aquí. I don't want you to put exactly what is here because then it serves no purpose, right? I want you to use your own ideas. But you can look at this to help you. You have about 10 minutes and then send it to me when you finish. All right, let me see. Are there any questions? Anyone have any questions? Any doubts? Remember, all you're doing is giving me your your um, your plan. ¿Cuál sería su plan para manejar the inventory? What would you do first? What would you do second? What would you do third? That's all it is. So we just are going to organize um, what we have on top, right? And we'll give you as a sentence or just a, a word. Okay, now, if, you, if you're going to use, remember that you can use this as a guide. Pueden usar este, esta página, page 56. Why do I keep saying 56? It's 36, right? <laughs> page Page 36, right? Page 36, you can use it as your guide. Now, eso es como guía. But if you're going to use the vocabulary, si, va, si quieren usar el vocabulario que está aquí arriba, you can. But if you want to use your own label, si quiere usar su propia planificación, you can do that also, all right? You can do that also. You can say, uh, we need, we need a uh, upgrade. We need to upgrade our tracking system. We need to create, uh, I didn't mention no barcodes. Everything that we've talked in class. Everything that we've talked in class, right? Barcodes. Uh, maybe um, someone mentioned uh, getting uh, spreadsheets, right? Getting technology involved. If you want to use some of these, you can, right? Receive inventory with speed and accuracy. If you can use that, you can. But I would prefer if you use something for you, something for you, right? Maybe uh, better communication with your employees, right? Um, what, how will you manage your inventory? For example. I got it. All right, if I give every one of you, si yo ahorita le doy a todos ustedes, if I give every one of you one 
5,000 items, 5,000 artículos, of a variety of um, shoes, shirts. How will you manage? ¿Qué hiciera? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo manejaría el inventario? If you have to sell it, how will you do it? Now, you can use this as a guide, but if you have your own words or your own ideas, you can, you can put them there also. I only want three. No más necesito tres. All right? Um, everything that we've talked about, how will you do it? Maybe the first enter the information in the system. Ah, vaya, there you go, right? Put everything in the system, right? To So you can know what you have. Para saber qué producto tiene, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, a, that's one of the first things I would do also, right? Okay, tengo 500 zapatos aquí, 300 shirts, y qué tipo de camisas son, and all this, and then, and then what would you do next? ¿Qué hiciera después? What would you that's do next? Fine. Ah, there you go, classify, yeah. See? Simple. Yeah, great job, right? Y después que lo clasifique, le puede poner el, el precio, right? And then put barcode, all kinds of stuff, right? That's, mm -hmm. that's how it is. But how will you do it, right? It's opinión propia. How will you do the first thing? Very good, Francisco. Okay, teacher. Yeah, that is correct. That is correct. Okay, very good, Freddy. You see? Easy, right? It's not complicated. Yeah, it was easy. Yeah, all you have to use is uh, just some steps, right? Yeah. Something basic. La indicación dice un diseño básico, basic plan, right? Don't yes, complicate no. yourself. Lo que no quiero es que se me compliquen, right? For you be like, oh, you start thinking like, oh, what do I need to do? Easy, just boom, boom, boom basic steps right that's it that's it perfect yeah that's it i just want to i just want you to develop your ideas all right this is remember that when we do these activities cuando hacemos estos tipos de actividades van en acorde con los eh, los manuales de insafor que es el task based approach you i have to show you the information have you participate in the information and then you create your own ideas. That is the methodology that Insofor has implemented, right? So that's why uh, when we do this type of activities is for you to express what you have learned with your own words. But yeah, Freddy, you're correct. You're correct. <laughs> oh, man. Uh -huh. 
Excellent, Edis. Yes. Very good. Ah, yeah, Carla. Very good. Thank you. Excellent. That's all I'm looking for, your own opinions, right? Your own analysis. <laughs> yes. Right? Cuando empezó de la primera, se hizo fácil lo, de, lo demás, right? Yeah. Once you begin. Yes. And the first part, I write and then I think, I thought, no, it's wrong. And I do it again. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You, you, you did great, right? Yeah, in levels, yeah, yeah, exactly. You, you, you even use the, the division, right? That we talked about yesterday. Very good. Thank you, teacher. Yeah. So you're putting you putting in practice what you learned yesterday and today. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, Francisco. Yeah, perfect. Francisco. Ah, Thelma, great ideas. Yes. Perfect. You included what we talked about yesterday. Hasta incluyó lo que vimos ayer. Perfect. Very good. Okay, thank you, teacher. Yes, you see? It wasn't hard. Okay, Doris. Remember if you're, Doris, can I give you a recommendation? Doris? Yes, teacher. Okay, I'm going to give you a recommendation, okay? When you're using Word, it change the, the language to English. Ah, yes. Okay, because if you have it in Spanish, it might it might automatically correct the word and it's going to mix it with Spanish and English. Okay, so okay. that that will be my 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 suggestion to you. Okay, as a recommendation. Yes. But the ideas I can understand them. Okay, they're very ah. good. Very good. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, it is in the the computer when uh, when I write the the word change the the word I I know I don't I don't no me fije <laughs> <laughs> I didn't notice I didn't notice I didn't, okay I didn't notice but yeah okay. great great and then I like the idea how you put to design the input and output processes for products right. Nice. Very good. And I think we talked about that yesterday, right? The ins and outs. Very good. All Thank right. You. Perfect, Doris. Thank you, teacher. All right. So Doris, Francisco, Thelma, Fredis, Alvin, Carla, and let me see, Iris. All right. Thank you for doing this activity. Write your name. Okay, now, can someone give me, those of you that, that did the activity, can you give me, can you share with the class one, one of your options that you have? Can you share with the class, and I have a volunteer that can, share to the class what they said or what you wrote what you sent me yeah organize the product label the product and make an inventory okay very good very good so you have your three steps right your three basic steps excellent anyone else that would like to share their their inventory plan anyone else let me see uh, you wrote the same as Freddie and also 
implement a system that could help with the purchasing process, shipping, number of items per product, and etc. Okay, Jennifer, thank you, thank you. Thank you for your participation, excellent. All right, now I'm going to end here. We are finished with these two pages. And for tomorrow, we will do the following pages. Page 30, 37 and 38. Okay, we'll do those tomorrow. And let me close this here. And I'm going to take the final attendance. Let's see. Let me get this computer going. All right. Abigail. Present teacher, I'm okay. sorry, I have been busy. Okay, no problem. Let me see. Thank you. All right, Blanca. Present. Thank you. Okay, Brenda. Carlos. Okay, Doris. Present. Okay, thank you. Edwin. Present. All right, thank you. Francisco? Present, teacher. All right, thank you. Fredis? I'm here, teacher. All right, thank you. Glenda? Present, teacher. All right, thank you. Iris? Present. All right, thank you. Jackie? Present. Okay, thank you. Jarvin? Jarvin? All right, Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. All right, thank you. Juan Jose. Juan Jose. Okay, disconnected. Um, Carla. Present. Okay, thank you. Neftali. Neftali. All right. Zero. Rolando, Rolando, zero, Thelma, present teacher, thank you, Janari, I'm here, all right, thank you, and finally, Alvin, present teacher, okay, now we have like two minutes, we have like two minutes left, let me see. Okay, for those of you that modified your grades in the platform, when you went back and corrected it yesterday, I already changed it in the in the administrative platform also. All right. So if you did that yesterday, I already did it for you. So I appreciate. Well, you can thank yourself if you wanted to get the the correction, right? If you did it, then I changed it, right? It depends if you wanted those extra five points. Now, um, any questions about, remember, what are you going to get Friday? What are you going to get Friday? Email. Are uh, you going to get an email or what's up? From what's up, yeah. yeah. From administration, right? We are going to use the information that you get in the email. Con esa nos vamos a enfocar el lunes, lo que está en el correo. All right, that's the one that we're going to work with. But you're going to receive it in WhatsApp also. All right, now, um, let me see. Okay, the person that stays today is Abigail. Hello, Abigail. Are you still busy? Oh, really, teacher? <laughs> I are didn't you? remember. All right, so are you... All right, the extra 10 minutes are yours if you're going to stay. All right, everyone else, good night. And I'll see you tomorrow. All right, we're already getting close to Monday. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. All right, see you tomorrow. Good night.
Oh, hello, Abigail. Oh, hello, teacher. All right, these are your, these are your 10 minutes. These are your 10 minutes, right? Yeah. All right, let me see. Are you oyente? <laughs> Yo me puse oyente. Uh, Cuando entré. Okay. All right. Okay, I was wondering if you if you were uh, I don't know, no no sal. Okay, it was you, right? It was you. Yeah. Okay, you changed. Okay, I thought I like okay, did administration change? <laughs> si le cambiaron el <laughs> De, de participante a oyente de administración, right? But no, usted lo hizo, right? Ah, you did it. Right. Yo lo acabo de cambiar ahorita. Ah, okay, great, great. All right, so it won't show on the screen, right? All right, so these are your extra time. If you have uh, any questions or any review that you would like to talk about or any topic that you would like to talk about or anything that you have in mind, Abigail. Um, I would like to review the, the vocabulary uh, of this class that I couldn't pay attention. Maybe review the, the pronunciation. Okay, uh, of the, what page? Which one? Yesterday and today. Ah, yesterday and today. Okay. Let me see the vocabulary. All right, we have some vocabulary on page 34, right? Page 34. Mm -hmm. You can go to page 34. I'm going to show it here. All right. Yeah, please. I will show it here for you. No problem. Let me see. All right, so we have here Building vocabulary, right? Can you read it, please, Abigail? Stuck. Okay. Inventory tracking. Point of sale. Restock. Spoilage. 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 Very good. Spoilage. Par levels. Very good. Is it correct? Par levels? Yes, that is correct. Par levels. Yeah, par levels. Mm -hmm. And first in, first out. Okay, first in, first out, right? First in, first out. Very good. Now, mm. what, what, let's look at this vocabulary stock. Which which of these will you think? Can you read them for me, um, Abigail? Can you read the the meaning or the definitions? Mm -hmm. A software system used to keep record of inventory levels, orders, sales, and deliveries. Very good. Replenish. What what is the meaning of replenish? Or okay. how do you pronounce? Re replenish would be like um, replenish. Rep reponer. Mm, okay. Okay. When, when a product is already when a product is already short, right? It's almost finished. Then you replenish. Lo vuelve a reemplazar. Okay. Um, re replenish. A store with fresh stock or supplies. All right. The time and place where a retail transaction is complete. Completed. 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 Okay. Items with expiration dates, like food or even cosmetics, that can become rotten or unusable. If not sold in time. 
Okay, unusual, unusable. Unusable. Unusual, okay. The oldest inventory items are recorded as told first. Merchandise kept in where in a warehouse and available for sale or distribution. Very good. The amount that should be available at any time for an item when an item falls below part, it is replenished. Okay. Very good. Now, after reading this, the definitions, the meaning, what would be stock? What do you think stock would be? Merchandise kept in a warehouse and available for sale or distribution. All right, very good. Excellent. Yeah, that's correct, right? So, that would be stock, right? All right, what do you think would be inventory tracking? A software system. Mm -hmm. Very good, a software system, right? Used to keep record, very good. What about point of sale? Punto de venta. The time and place. All right, very good. What about number four? Restock. Mm, replenish. Yeah. Restock will be replenish, right? All right, very good. What about spoilage? What is spoilage, Abigail? Cortado. Yeah, it's like, hasta malo, right? It's already bad. Mm -hmm. It's already, already now. Yes, that's correct. That's correct. So you have spoilage. What What do you think spoilage is? Items with expiration date. All right. What about number six? Um, niveles pares. Yeah, par levels, yes. We're talking about a par levels is is in reference to a mantener los niveles bajos of inventory. Minimum levels of inventory you need at the moment when you're um, when you're doing something. For example, I'm going to give an example of mm -hmm. Um the level of cheese. El nivel de queso que se necesita, the level of cheese, o sea, la cantidad. Mm -hmm. well, do you think that the person that makes pupusas, do you think they buy 100 pounds of cheese? Or do you think they buy maybe 30 or 50 pounds of cheese? Si es ahí en la, en la esquinita en la comunidad. How much mm -hmm. cheese, right? Aquí los mínimos niveles que se necesitan para completar la actividad. So mm -hmm. if the person buys too much cheese y sabe que no va a vender mil pupusas en la noche, mm -hmm. entonces tiene que llevar un nivel mínimo de inventario. Porque si no, se la arruina y pierde. Yes. Right? So have you ever gone somewhere Yo sé que le ha pasado a usted, me ha pasado a mí. That you go somewhere and you ask for tortillas. Mire, tiene tortillas. ¿Y qué le dice? Ya se terminaron, ¿verdad? ¿no? Nunca le han uh -huh. dicho eso. Pero ¿por qué? Sí. Porque ya tienen un nivel mínimo de venta y ellos saben cuánto pueden vender en un día. Right? They're not going to make 5,000 tortillas. <laughs> right? When they know they're only going to sell like 400 tortillas. Right? So this is uh -huh. where it means your par levels. Esos son niveles de pares. O sea, Va nivelado en acorde con lo mínimo establecido para no exceder, not to exceed, all right? So that is, um, is, you should always have that minimum amount. Every day the person sells tortillas, right? Mm -hmm. But sometimes you go and they're finished. 
right? Y son apenas las dos y media, ya se termina, right? But it happens, <laughs> right? It happens. And that's what it means by par levels in inventory, right? Inventory. Yeah. Okay. Because so, some stock can become spoiled. Exactly. Spoiled. 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 Yes. Spoiled. yes. Okay. So what would be par levels? What are your par levels? Par levels, um, the amount that should be available. Exactly, right? Very good. And then first in, first out is, right? The, the oldest inventory. Yes, right? And you see this, like I mentioned yesterday, you see these, for example, if, if you go to a, to a grocery store, right? If you go to a grocery store, the, lo primero que le enseña, the first ones that you see are the ones that are about to expire, right? Mm -hmm. if, you, if you buy milk, eh, have you, ha ido de compra usted, right, Abigail? Yes? Have, sí. you ever, have you ever bought something at the store? Check next time. If you, if you never done this, do this, right? Go get a milk. Mm -hmm. Just to sí. see, right? Just to verify. Grab the first milk. Quiero que agarre la primer cartón de leche o el galón que está enfrente. Mm -hmm. Y sáquelo. And then go to the back. Agarre la que está al mero atrás. Go to the back mm -hmm. and take that one out. Las fechas van a estar diferentes. Mm -hmm. right? sí. le, van, le van a vender primero lo que ya se va a vencer más pronto. Eso es lo que ellos quieren sí, que agarren. Sí. That's what they want you to do. That's what it means, first in, first out, all right? Mm -hmm. So the back of the product is the new product, el producto nuevo, y así se viene para el frente, así como pasan los días, right? As uh -huh. the days pass, the first in, first out, all right? First in, first or, out. Or, or sometimes the, there are prices really low mm -hmm. for some products. Exactly, that also happens, right? When they want to sell you the product, and and it's already going to expire right but they never tell you pero nunca le dicen, Mire, se va a en dos días. they never tell you right <laughs> they just here right you're like hey we have promotion right here three for one oh yeah i take it right <laughs> and and it, it spoils in about two days right yeah all right so yeah. <laughs> all right well it was a pleasure having you here uh Vigail. And thank you for staying the extra time. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you for your for your time. No problem, Abigail. You have a great night and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. See you tomorrow. All right. Have a good, good night. night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye.